For the first guided practice, it says find the acceleration when a particle of mass 1.5 kilograms is acted on by a resultant force of 6 newtons. So we are going to use the formula F equals ma to calculate the acceleration. So F is equal to 6, m is 1.5 and a is the unknown that we are trying to calculate. So then a is 6 divided by 1.5 which is equal to 4. So we've got the value of A. I would now write a sentence uh, saying what A is with its units. So the acceleration is 4 metres per second squared. For the second guided practice, we are given some um, force diagrams of a body that is accelerating and we want to find the unknown forces X and Y. The way we're going to do this is we're going to resolve horizontally and resolve vertically using F equals MA. So if we first of all resolve horizontally, so the notation for resolving horizontally is a capital R and then a horizontal arrow. I'm going in the right direction. I'm just following the direction of the acceleration here. So resulting in the right direction, the horizontal direction, the force, the resultant force going in the right hand side direction for F, the resultant force is x minus 4 because we've got x going in that positive direction and then 4 going in the opposite. So the resultant in the right direction is x minus 4. Now f is equal to ma. The mass, so the resultant force is equal to the mass which is 2 multiplied by the acceleration which is 2. Now, if this acceleration was in the left direction, I would multiply it by negative 2. But we're going in that positive direction with the acceleration, so we've got positive 2 for the acceleration here. So x minus 4 is equal to 4, which means that x is equal to 8 newtons. Just remember that x is a force, so it's measured in newtons. To find y then, we are going to do um, the same process but resolving upwards, so vertically. So we're going to resolve vertically. Our resultant force in that upward direction is y subtract 2g and that's equal to m times a. So our mass of our body is 2 kilograms. And the acceleration in that upwards direction is actually zero. We are not accelerating up or down. The acceleration up is zero. So we've got two multiplied by zero. So two multiplied by zero is zero. So we've got y subtract 2g is equal to zero. So y equals 2g newtons. For part B, we're going to do the exact same process. So this time, we've got um, an additional force acting downwards, and our acceleration is going in the left direction. So when I'm resolving horizontally, I'm going to res ho uh, sorry, I'm going to resolve in the left direction. So resolving to the left, we've got F equals m a. So our resultant force is 80 subtract x and that's equal to the mass which is 4 multiplied by acceleration which is 2. So we get that 80 subtract x is equal to 8 which means that x is equal to 72 newtons. I'm now going to resolve upwards so resolving in that upward direction, I've got y, 
subtract. Now, this 20 newtons, although it's on the same um, side as y, it's actually acting downwards. So the resultant force is going to be y subtract 20 and subtract 4g. That's equal to mass times acceleration. Again, the upwards acceleration for this body is zero. So we've got 4 times 0, which is equal to 0, which means y is equal to 20 plus 4g. And remember that, four, that, sorry, that g is equal to 9.8. So we've got 20 plus 4 lots of 9.8, which is equal to 59.2 newtons. For our last example, we're told that we've got a body of mass with, of 5 kilograms that's being pulled along a rough horizontal table. Firstly, when we hear rough surface, we're thinking friction. So there's going to be a friction force in the opposite direction of motion. Um, and it's being pulled along by a horizontal force of magnitude 20 newtons against that constant friction force of 4 newtons. Given that the body is initially at rest, find, first of all, the acceleration of the body. So I'm going to draw a force diagram for this. If you don't draw a diagram, this is going to be very hard when you start resolving your forces. So we've got our rough surface, our body which is 5 kilograms, we've got the weight of the body acting downwards which is 5g, remember weight is equal to mass times the um, gravity, the acceleration of gravity. We've got the normal contact force which is um, directly opposite the weight and perpendicular to the surface, which is, we're going to call that R Newtons. The body is moving in the uh, right direction. It is being, um, it is being pulled along with a magnitude of 20 Newtons. And we've got that opposing friction force with magnitude 4 Newtons. And it's being pulled along this way, the right hand way. So we've got our acceleration there. So we need to find our acceleration, which means we're going to resolve horizontally. Because when we resolve, we're doing F equals MA. Now we've only got our acceleration A in that horizontal direction. If we were to resolve vertically, our value for acceleration would be zero. We already know that value of acceleration. So resolving in the right direction, we've got 20 subtract 4 is equal to mass times acceleration, 5a. 20 subtract 4, that is 16. So a is equal to 16 divided by 5, which is 3.2 metres per second squared. So we're going to write a statement uh, to give our answer in context, because at the moment we've got a equals something. We've not even said what a means. So we're going to say the acceleration um, of the body is 3.2 meters per second squared. Now for part B, for part B we're asked to find the distance traveled by the body in the first four seconds. So we're thinking about our SUVA equations here. So the distance, S, is what we want to find out. Our initial velocity well, in the question, it says that the body is initially at rest, so u equals zero. V, we're unsure of V, we don't know the speed of the body after four seconds. We know that the acceleration, it is moving with constant acceleration. 
So the acceleration is 3.2. And t, we're looking to find um, the distance after 4 seconds. So t equals 4 seconds. So we need to choose a SUVA equation that involves s, u, a, and t. So we're going to use s equals ut plus a half a t squared. u times t, we've got 0 times 4, plus a half multiplied by acceleration is 3.2, and t squared, that's going to be 4 squared. If you just type all of this into your calculator, you will get an answer of 25.6. Now again, like the previous question, we're then going to contextualise our um, the value of S that we found. So we're going to say the body moves a distance of 25.6 meters. For part C of the question, we're asked to find the magnitude of the normal reaction between the body and the table. So we want to find the magnitude of our normal reaction force, which is R. So we're going to resolve upwards. So resolving in that upward direction, we get R subtract 5G so F is R subtract 5G, again we're using F equals MA when we resolve. So F, our resultant force, is equal to the mass, which is 5, times by acceleration. Now remember, the body is accelerating to the right, it's not accelerating up or down because it stays on the surface. So we've got 5 multiplied by 0, which is obviously equal to 0. So R is equal to 5g, which is 5 multiplied by 9.8, 49 newtons. So the normal reaction has magnitude 49 newtons.